Hey there, how's it going everybody? Welcome back. Plant Abundance here. So fig season is officially upon us. Today is July 25th, 2017. And behind me here, I've got the Peter's Honey Fig. Absolutely loaded down with figs. This is actually two trees that are planted about three and a half feet apart or so. These trees are now three years old and they received a heavy pruning this last winter, just prior to spring. And as you can see, uh, they're doing absolutely wonderful. These trees are growing next to this garden arbor here, which has chayote squash vining up, which has also started to now vine up throughout the fig tree. So it's using the fig tree as a vining layer. I've spoken on this in the past. I'm a big fan of using fig trees in this way. So if you have different vining crops, such as the chayote or pole beans, and you've got good sun exposure, you could definitely use these trees as a trellis for those types of plants. There's also some morning glory that's growing up this trellis and into this fig tree. Another beautiful flower. There's a nice monster sized fig ripening up there. But over here, this is what I really want to share with you today. This is a two in one planting, two figs and one hole. We've got on the right side here a blackjack fig, and on the left side, we've got the brown turkey. And once again, you can see these trees are absolutely loaded down with fruit. Many of which are beginning to ripen up. This one here is good to go. But before I pick it, I just want to give you a reference point so you can see just how large these figs actually are. This is a tennis ball. That fig is literally the size of a tennis ball. And I'm telling you, you'd be very hard pressed to find a fig this large at your local grocer. You got to grow them yourself to get them like this. So now I'm going to share with you some tips and ideas on how you can also grow figs like this in abundance. Huge tennis ball sized figs. And I'm letting you know right now, it's going against most conventional wisdom when it comes to planting out fruit trees. So prepare yourself for that. My first tip is to go ahead and plant your trees densely if you feel like it or if you're limited on space. This two-in-one planting here, which is a blackjack fig on the right and a brown turkey fig on the left, was planted no more than about a foot and a half apart from each other. And as you can see, it's not negatively affecting these trees in any way. They're both thriving and doing extremely well. So although that's not necessary, it doesn't hurt at all to do so. My second tip is to do a pretty heavy pruning just prior to spring in the winter time while the tree's still dormant. Figs grow on the first year's wood growth. And so by doing a nice heavy pruning, not only are you allowing a lot of new growth to occur, but you're helping to manage the height of the tree, making it easily accessible. My third tip is to give a nice heavy mulch around your trees. Around these two trees, it's predominantly wood chip mulch. I did add a little bit of comfrey chop and drop, but other than that, I've done absolutely no fertilizing on these trees this year. In fact, I believe I've only fertilized this area one time in the six years these trees have been planted here. Which brings me to the fourth tip, and that's to be patient. We're at year six now, and we're finally getting just a heavy, abundant fruit set. We've gotten fruits off these trees in the past, but this is the first year it's actually been this abundant. So patience is key. That brings me to my fifth tip, and that's to avoid overwatering. These two trees here, I've only stuck a sprinkler underneath and watered these three times this growing season. And as you can see, they're growing in absolute abundance. So observe and interact with your trees. If they look like they need some water, give them a little water. If they look like they're healthy and doing fine, back off the water and let them do their thing. My sixth tip is to choose a nice sunny location. Figs like a lot of sun, and this area here gets full sun. This is southern facing. See, we're here in the midday, and the sun is just pointed directly at these trees, and they're absolutely loving it. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and pick this fig, cut it open, and give it a taste test for you. You can tell it's ripe because it's starting to bend right here at the neck. Also, if you squeeze it, it's soft to the touch. And there's actually a little bit of stickiness coming off the fig as well. So I'm just going to give this a twist. Look at that. Let's cut this beauty open.
This is what it's all about, folks. Mm. Oh my goodness. I can't believe there's still some folks out there who have yet to try a fig. If you haven't ever had a fig, do your best to get your hands on one and give it a try. I've referred to it in the past, it's almost like nature's jelly donut. Absolutely delicious. Mm. Well, that's it for now, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. Until next time, this is Dan from PlantAbundance.com reminding you to plant and grow your figs the easy way. You'll be happy you did. Take care, everybody. I'll be talking to you again soon.